Hi everyone! Today we're going to make chicken stir fry, country style, of course, Chinese country style. And this is inspired by a country style stir fry I had at a Sichuan restaurant called Nongjia Xiao Chao. And of course, I'm going to use chicken. You know, I prefer chicken. You can always use pork. And let's cook. First, we're going to cut up our ingredients. Start with vegetables. I have three Chinese snakes. You can use regular snakes. You can see they're much longer and thinner and actually has more flavor. So we cut the stem. Smash a little bit to get more flavor. Oops. <laughs> and cut in an angle like this. Yeah, smells very garlicky. I love the smell. So it's a stem. And this are the leaves. Cut up about, I guess about two inches long. We don't need to measure, right? <laughs> okay, so leaves. And I have four garlic, golf, cloves, cut into slices. And a few slices of ginger. That should be enough. And this is uh, called a sour green map mustard green like a pickle and if you cannot find you can use other pickle just for flavor cutting pieces you may wonder why is it called country style i guess uh, you just improvise using all the ingredients you have and have one bell pepper pieces okay that's a green pepper and I know this one's pretty big red pepper I'm gonna use just half of it that should be enough right okay this we save for future and same thing just cut into pieces okay that's all our vegetables here's I have one chicken breast let me just trim the fat it's okay this is okay So for beef and the pork, we always cut against grain, but for chicken, you don't have to be 100% against grain, but at uh, bios, right? So we're gonna slice them. Now we're gonna season the chicken. Actually, this is normally the way I season stir fry meat. Just add a little bit of salt and white pepper powder. And a little bit of vegetable oil or canola oil. Light soy sauce. Mix 
மிக்ஸ் If you use pork, you can add a little bit of cooking wine. I think for chicken, I normally don't add cooking wine. And last, we add cornstarch. So this will seal the seasoning and also the moist of the meat. And when we stir fry, it will be very tender. this to mix up okay we just let this sit about five ten minutes before we stir fry very importantly we use two pastes for this dish which make this dish very flavorful very savory this is a spicy bean paste this must have in my refrigerator in my house and for Sichuan dishes and this one is a fermented fermented black bean paste yeah I guess if you cannot find it you have you can just skip it this two paste really makes this dish very savory now we're ready to stir fry we'll turn the heat to high I'm gonna add about a tablespoon oil few slices of garlic and ginger we're flavoring the oil now we are going to add the chicken Now breaking them up while you are stirring fry like this. So chicken almost lightly brown. We're going to set aside because we're going to cook again. Now we add a little bit more oil. We turn the heat to medium. And we're gonna cook peppers until they are tender. It's also, you know, up to you. Some people like it crunchy. I prefer more tender. So we'll cook a few minutes. Add a little bit of salt to help it to be tender. Take a few minutes. The peppers are crackling now. Now we're going to add a little bit more oil. And this rest of the ginger slices, garlic, and the leek stem. And also two paste. Here's a spicy bean paste, about a teaspoon, and fermented black bean, about a teaspoon. Uh, a pan very hot. We just saute a little bit. And we also add this pickle. Now we're going to add the chicken back. Incorporating all our ingredients. Mm, smells very good.
Last, we just add the leek leaves. Now we're going to serve our country style chicken. Let's try this for you guys. Mm. Peppers, the crunchy and has some sweetness. Then chicken and the leek. Chicken so tender. Gotta get a piece of the pickle. This dish just goes so well with rice. Mmm. Very savory with the um, spicy bean paste and the fermented black bean paste. You guys have to try this. Yeah, please try to make this at home. Thank you so much for watching and enjoying cooking. And uh, we'll see you next time.